John Terry. What the fuck? Oh, I'm, uh, driving. Sorry. Dodging bottles. Okay. If you haven't figured out, I'm his number one fan. I adore him. And he cracks me up. I've got some of the best John stories ever. One of my favorites was actually, um, first time it, it was on Mark Bell's podcast, it was the number one shit story. Right? Ah, the John, sh the, the sh shit story. Well, they call it the poop story hall of fame is what it is. Mark I, Bell's I had a, I had poop a pretty, story pretty hall of fame. good poop story and then he had a little th little time after that where everybody came on and had to tell a poop story. I don't know how it continued on like that, but I do remember hearing something about the right. Poop Story Hall of Fame. Okay, well, Poop Story Hall of Fame in our house, let's just say that I don't even ask the cleaning lady to clean our toilets. <laughs> That's how bad he is. Like, it's ridiculous. But this number one story, you gotta listen, and only he can tell it. I wasn't there, but I love the story. I love this story. <laughs> so, John. So, basically, share this, the this story. whole thing goes back to it was in my wrestling, when I was in my wrestling career. I was in Japan. I don't remember exactly what we were, but I do remember it was the front end. So, I had started work for New Japan, which was the company that I really wanted to work for. So, from, in terms of my goals, what I wanted with my wrestling, that was it. That was the cast me out. I was there. And, uh, they brought me right in, for those of you that know wrestling, brought me right in to a main event with Tanahashi, which was holy shit. Anyway, and for the record, I was a shitty wrestler. I just, the way I looked, Bullshit. was to get my job. I loved watching him. Either way, bottom line is this. We're fucking in the tour bus. You, you wrestle, get in the tour bus, you go to the next city. That's kind of the rhythm. And we were basically, in Japan, they call it a country town which basically means it's not a big city. Still a, a fairly big city, just not in Tokyo. So we're in a country town, which means for somebody like me, there's not a lot of Western style fucking toilets. We're talking about the little fucking hole in the ground. It's like a, a, it's a perfect place to take a piss. Right. But what are you supposed to do when you gotta fucking take a dump? So. We've already stipulated that he can't pop a squat, hence, yeah. The issue with the tree stuff. Definitely, but that, in this one, I didn't even have to pop squat. So, anyway, we're on the tour bus, and you you just basically you got to just fucking hold it. You're not you're not taking a dump on a tour bus in Japan. Anyway, so we're getting into this. I'm I mean, I, you know keep in mind I'm living off fucking almonds and fucking protein powder because they don't and whole and har, har boiled eggs because getting to my food was a motherfucker. As we all know, I don't endorse protein powders, but fucking far better than eating nothing. Anyway, so we're pulling into this. I'm, I'm swear to God, I'm, I'm ready to shit my pants, and I'm just literally, I'm, I'm starting to fucking moan. And the other guy, Jen, which means the other white guys, they're fucking laughing because they can tell I'm hurt. And uh, so we get, we pull up to this arena, and I basically fucking get off the bus, and I am fucking moving in there trying to find a toilet. You know how the big arenas are, you know, they got these long fucking hallways down the side, and I'm just going down these motherfuckers looking for, basically looking for a place to take a dump, and every time I get to a bathroom, there's no western style toilet, I'm like, holy shit. The urgency is real. And it, god damn it, I just, I needed to be able to sit on a fucking toilet to take this dump. It was angry. It was not going to come out fucking Angry peace. dump. It was not going <laughs> to come out peacefully. So... I mean, it was like the third fucking bathroom Violet. I went into. I went into, I'm like, oh, fuck. There's no Western style toilet. All these fucking holes in the ground. I'm like, I'm not going to make it to the next one. So, literally, I pull my fucking sweatpants down. I turn around to this fucking hole. And literally, as I start to fucking bend over and like to sit back like I'm going to cop a squat at this point I don't even know how I'm going to do it I just know that if I don't take my fucking pants off I'm going to shit in my fucking pants as I literally pull my pants down and bend my hips fucking ba -pow, that angry fucking turd comes jumping out of there when I say jumping out of there I'm not fucking around angry so turd jumping. basically this motherfucker this motherfucker was not a, like a turd that you hit the ground and you could like take a stick and roll it over. This was like a fucking cow pie. Pow! And you could clearly see that I'd be need a lot of fucking almonds. <laughs> cool. And it fucking stunk terribly. <clears throat> and keep in mind, 
it didn't make it inside the fucking porcelain hole. So it's this fucking cow pie sitting about fucking four inches in front of the fucking hole in the ground. And keep in mind, this is my first fucking tour with New Japan. And I just shit, almost shit my fucking pants. And I just fucking took a dump, a horrendous fucking dump. Smelled like a fucking piece of roadkill. And I mean, it even visually looked fucking awful. And I'm On sitting here thinking to myself, On the floor. what the fuck am I going to do? Holy shit. You know, I, I'm, I just got on with this fuck with, with this company. I'm going to get fucking fired. This is like, this is like disorderly conduct. These people are fucking polite. You know, me burping and fucking farting was not going over well. <laughs> not at all. Anyway, so I'm already a little bit on thin ice. You know, the Japanese guys in the fucking bus were just literally just appalled, appalled with me. <laughs> anyway, so I'm sitting there fucking just literally just going, oh my God, what do I do? So basically there was a guy named Hattori. He was a Japanese, he was a staff for the company and he spoke English. So I go and I find Hattori and I'm like, Hattori, I got a problem. He's like, oh man, what, what you do now? You know, <laughs> oh, really cool fucking guy. That was actually a pretty good imitation. <laughs> and I'm like- There you go, Hattori. I'm just like, come with me. And he walked, we, I get him to the bathroom. He walks in, he goes, oh my God, what's going on? He wouldn't even go, you know, he's this like appalled. I mean, fully fuck what you do, man. Oh my God. And I turn him fucking corner. He takes one fucking look at it. Just wouldn't even fucking look. And I, by, he walks back out. And by this time, the, the news is spread. All the fucking gaijin, the white guys, they're fucking coming in and take a look. And they're like, Oh my God! Everybody and they were rolling in fucking laughter, laughing their asses off. <laughs> and I couldn't fucking figure out why. Well, here's why: because a Tory had gone to one of the young boys. These are the fucking guys that are trying. They're working their way up, trying to become wrestlers. This fucking young boy is probably 19 years old. Poor he's got baby. he's got fucking rubber gloves up to here. He's got a fucking thing over his eyes. And he's going there to fucking clean this mess up. <laughs> he's lit. And this is not a turd. You're just going to poke with a stick and roll it over. This thing is just, it's a pie. And you can see that I've been, we well, see what I've been eating. This was not pleasurable. Anyway, so this fucking poor kid has to fucking clean this up. And he is in there fucking puking and fucking, oh, no. the poor kid was just beside himself, but he fucking toughed it out. You know, I can't remember his name, but great fucking job. Thank you for saving my ass. My life. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, thank God the whole thing got cleaned up, did the show. Next fucking morning, I come down in the lobby <laughs> and Tori says, John, next time you shit and you miss, you clean up. Young boy, throw up all night long. <laughs> so, anyway, so it was all in his head. Trust from, me, I've cleaned up his shit plenty the of times. Of You're not gonna die. How much damage can one fucking angry turd do? Well, Jesus Christ! At first, I thought I was gonna fucking lose my contract. Second, you know this fucking poor kid. They damn near had to take him to the fucking hospital. So, can a turd fuck shit up? Yes, a turd can fuck shit up. But looking back, God damn it, it was funny. Hilarious story. <laughs> And, you know, one thing I didn't mention was when I fucking bent over to fucking and this thing shot out of me, I wasn't, at that point, I'm not even fucking looking for toilet paper. I'm thinking, oh, John. what the fuck am I going to do? So I just fucking pulled my pants up thinking, what no. the fuck? And the best part I about it laundry. is, the best part about it is, is that when you do enough squatting and fucking lunging, you get deep fucking cheeks. Not a goddamn drop of that angry turd hit my fucking goddamn underwear. Now, if that's not a fucking... That's if that, TMI. If that's, that's not, TMI. if that's not a fucking benefit of squatting, deep fucking cheeks. That's where my nickname, Deep, deep cheeks, cheeks, came from Mark Bell's podcast. He also said... So, you got 30 seconds before we're going to wrap this up. Well, wrap it up, babe. <laughs> if we go more than fucking 10 minutes, I can't put an IGTV. So, my peeps, own that motherfucker. Own it, own it, own it. Even if it's a fucking angry turd. Don't make anyone else clean up your shit. We love you. Rock and roll, my peeps. Make it a fucking killer day.